What's up guys, this is Kel Bailey. I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something interesting. We're gonna be unboxing the Nord Stage 3. We had the Montage 8 at first. I decided to go in a different direction. For me, it wasn't working out. I'm gonna go into a little bit more details later explaining why I decided to get this Nord over the Montage 8. But stick with me, um, I'm gonna let y'all watch me unbox this Nord, so let's get it. All right, so I just got done setting up that Nord. Um, I'm ready to go to the back and turn on the sound and see what we got going on. I barely ever turn on the sound here, so I kind of really don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna go into detail, but one of the main reasons for me getting the Nord over the montage, we sent the montage back today. The montage, the key feel of it wasn't working out for me like I get it was a new board but long term I just feel like this is going to be a better option for me so Piano, hands down, Nord got it. Hands down, this is the best piano on the market right now. I am a hype beast, but the stage three, all right, story time. I'm ready to be honest, ready to be open with y'all. Here's the story about why we got rid of the Montage 8 and got the Nord stage three. I'm not gonna make it super long and drawn out, but back in like December, the church that I go to, Speaking Spirit Ministries, Richmond, Virginia, um, they came to me and was like, hey, we're about to make some upgrades. Which board do you want? Do you want the Nord Stage 3 or do you want the Montage? At the time, I was like, give me the Montage. Yamaha, they make good products. I'm familiar with Yamaha. Give it to me. My pastor, he called me. He was like, hey, all right, we're about to make this order. You sure you want the Montage and not the Nord? Why do you want the Montage over the Nord? The reason I gave him, I was like, Yamaha, I've been playing it all my life. I know that they're gonna give me a good sound selection with strings, brass, it's gonna give me everything that I need, everything that I'm used to out of the Yamaha. It's the newest Yamaha flagship board that they have out. Why not get it? I see my homies playing it, they like it, let's go with it. We get it, we open it up, looks beautiful. I love the touch screen on it, I set it up. I'm like, cool, this board is dope. I play it, I go through the piano sounds and I'm like, ah, they sound good. But one, the pianos, all of the pianos on the board was bathed with reverb. For whatever reason, it's like the piano just didn't sound good. When you take the reverb off, it, it didn't do nothing for me. The pianos, they were cool. Like they, they just weren't the Nord pianos that I was used to. One of the things that I liked was 
the strings and the pads on the Yamaha was super, super quality. Like the detail of the samples of the strings and the pads and the synths and stuff was amazing. But I wanted to have a board for church that was going to not only have good sounding synths and strings and stuff, but to really be able to have good sounding pianos. I have my racks here, the Roland MKS-20, the Yamaha Motif rack, the 3080 rack. All that stuff is good to have like as weapons within your arsenal to accomplish, like to add on to the keyboard. But I wanted to have a main board that could have good piano sounds. And the montage, piano sounds just won't do it for me. So number two, so number one was the pianos. Pianos just wasn't cutting it for me. I didn't like the piano selection on the Yamaha montage. Number two, the feel of it. Now I'm super feel based in terms of what the key bed feels like, feels like when I'm playing. And the montage feel of the key bed didn't feel good to me. Like granted the keyboard was new and needed to be broken in. I get all that. But the more I played on it, I was like, this is cool. You know, I'd rather have the XF. I didn't want to just have the montage and be like, it's an okay board. Like we spent a lot of money on the montage, so I wanted to actually love it. I wanted to enjoy it. I wanted this to be a board that I look forward to playing every week. And the montage just was like, this is cool. Like I'll be fine with the XF. Another reason I didn't like the montage, it was clipping. Like four thousand you spend four thousand dollars on a keyboard, you don't want it to be clipping when you don't have it up all the way. And we were experiencing clipping issues with that board in general, and I'm like we didn't pay for that to do that, you know? Of course, y'all may say turn it down, but that was a whole nother issue that we was dealing with. Again, these three or four reasons that I'm giving is not major. This isn't like a thing of boycott Yamaha and boycott the montage. These are just my personal opinions that made me want to get the Nord. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I say all of that because one, I didn't sit down with the montage for hours and hours on end to really learn the board. I played the board for like a total of maybe 10 or 12 hours in terms of digging into the board, going through every sound, I didn't do all that. But honestly, I felt like I didn't have, I didn't need to do that in order to like the board. After I sat with it for a little, the little bit that I did sit with it, I just was like, I'm not feeling this. And musicians, you know, there are certain instruments and there are certain brands that you pick up and immediately you're like, I love this board. I want to get this board. Like if we go to Guitar Center and we looking for an instrument or a new piece of gear, we know within like five to 10 minutes if we want it or not. And some things have to grow on you. For me, I didn't want the montage to grow on me. After I played it for a little bit, the 10 hours that I did play on it, I was like, all right, I'm ready for something different. Like, I'm not satisfied with this. We just got the Nord in and already immediately I'm loving it. Now I'm not loving it because it's something new and it's the new thing that we got. Like I'm loving it just because the feel of it is what I wanted. Like for church, I wanted to have a real piano that I could actually use and it actually sound good. The feel of the key bed, I was worried about how the velocity was gonna interact with my racks and stuff like that. But so far, the interaction is good. So we're gonna be keeping the Nord stage three. We're not getting rid of it. This is the board that we're gonna have here and I'm excited. Some of y'all probably gonna like get me in the comments and be like, how are you gonna say you don't like a board that you didn't even really spend time with? This is my opinion, I can do that. Um, I can do that, because I mean, I have a right to do that. I'm not the one saying what you should and what you shouldn't do. I know what's right for me and you may know what's right for you. Now, some of y'all may like the montage. Some of y'all may be your favorite board, but like for me personally, just didn't work out for me. And we have the North Stage 3 now, and I'm excited. I'm glad that we got it. I'm glad that it got approved. Shout out to my team, my pastors, um, they approved it and yeah, I'm satisfied. All right, so that is my little short story of why I decided to get rid of the montage and go with the Nord Stage 3. Let me know in the comments if you would have done the same thing or let me know if you think that I'm just tripping and I made a bad decision.
I'm gonna give y'all an update in a few weeks and let y'all know how I'm liking the Nord, but so far out the box, I love it. I'm gonna leave y'all with a little short little clip of me playing something. So yeah, 